you had some middle linebackers that were coming back and Joe and Jarrett and of course Niles as well. How, how's that coming right now? Do you have an idea how that's going to work out this fall? They're all going to play at some time. You know, Joe Schmidt will be the starter there. Jared Grace will play. And, and Niles will, will obviously get a chance to, to get in there as well. I mean, look, they're all, they're all guys that have played for us, um, all have contributed, all have played meaningful minutes for us. Um, we're going to need them all. And we play such a rugged schedule, and we, we want to limit the snaps early in the year, especially on a group. We played so many more snaps than most teams, especially early in the year with our schedule and um, you know where most teams get a chance to pull their guys in the second quarter and third quarter. We're grinding through four quarters and, and we really need to pace our group and we think we're really deep there. We think it's an advantage and um, because of that they'll all get a chance to play and, and play meaningful minutes for us. On Niles specifically, you know, he obviously played probably before he was ready last year out of need. Sure. How's he? How's he coming along? You know, so far now. Well, we think he's developing, but you know, look, he's like anybody else would be. He looks at the depth chart and and uh, he's running out there with the second group, you know, and get splitting reps. Whereas last year he was the starter, you know. So, you know, he wants more reps, just like I'd want more reps, but. As we tell him, he's, his reps have to be quality because he's got to be ready when he gets called upon, just like he was last year. You got called upon and you've got to be ready. So um, how's he taking it? He wants more reps. Um, but how does he have to respond? That when he gets out there, he's got to be flawless in his execution because um, he's going to have to play for us at some time and he's going to have to play well. Sure, with the quarterback. And accuracy, how much can you really improve that in a guy, or is that something that's more inherent? Oh no, I, I think it's all. Um, I, I think all of the things that Malik um, had coming into the season, uh, into the you know the spring, in terms of mechanics and, and things that need to work on, were all correctable. He gets uh, he gets a little big. Um, Gets the ball stuck behind him a little bit. Uh, it's just repetition. Um, I think he's already made some real good progress. Um, ball placement, touch, things like that that were not really part of what he did. He was always throwing the fastball and, and never really changing speeds at all. You know, you know these 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 young quarterbacks get rated, you know, by by their strength of arm. And they don't get rated by, you know, you should really rate them by, you know, touch passes and ball placement and um, level two balls. And, and th then you really get the sense of, of the full picture. And those were the things that he needed to work on. And he's made great progress in, in those touch passes and um, those ball placement kind of issues. Because he was just a rare it up and rip it guy. And, and now he's come so far from that. I think Mike's made really good progress with him.